Hi and welcome to one of my product reviews. Um, if you have a look at my last YouTube, my trip, um, Dams and Birds, I talked about this uh, suitcase come stove that I've found and I did a, a cook up on that. So I'll do a quick review on the stove itself and then I'll add the video in the cookout that I had down at uh, Wellington Dam as part of the video. So found it on eBay, again looking through um, camping stoves, portable camping stoves, and found this suitcase sort of affair. Folds down, We're looking there, 44 centimetres, 27, and with the legs folded up, it's 7 centimetres that way. Pretty basic, light steel, legs fold out. Wouldn't say it's the best quality in the world, but it's nice and light. Something to chuck in the car. I use the charcoal. It comes with uh, some fairly cheap tools in it. The barbecue plate or well, mat I've added myself. Two sides come with it. All the rest I've added, and what I've done is put piece of tin foil in the bottom just to protect it more when I'm lighting a fire and now we're using charcoal and somewhere just to keep the bits and pieces and I'm only having a small fire with charcoal brickets in there. Basically all you do is the sides clip in the two sides and there's a little lock down there. And the other one, as I say, it's just a little toggle, fits into a slot. Locks it all into place. And you throw your grill in, and there's three adjustment heights in there that you can set it at. So it's that quick and simple. And you can set it right down, or however you want to do it. Um, so what I'll do is leave it now because there's not much else you can show. Little, little latch on here, there's nothing special in the handle. But it was a bit of fun and it actually worked quite well out there. I, I have used it in the past. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching and if you get a chance please subscribe. Thank you. Right, getting closer to meal time, so this is my new barbecue that I'm um, going to show. I'll do a bit more of a review on it later on, but I bought it off eBay and it folds up into a little suitcase. Everything folds inside and it's a nice little unit, again under $30. So I'm going to try it with heat beads this time. It's got uh, about 13 I think in there, unlucky for some, but with the two little fire starters uh, after about half an hour the, all the coals will be white and it'll be ready to start cooking on. So while that's working away and getting itself sorted out and warming up I think I need a step two. Step one set up camp. Step two is a drink. Can't beat a Guinness and as you can see in the background I'm out in the bush. I'm actually down at Wellington Dam, which is near Collie. So I'll come back shortly once that's underway. Right, the coals look like they're uh, almost all white now. So uh, that's how you can tell that they're ready to start cooking on. I can feel the heat coming off. I couldn't hold my hand there for too long. And I'm actually doing something that I've never done before. And I'm going to try making a bit of a curry. I don't mind a curry, but uh, I've never cooked them. Just while I show you, when I carry my heat beads, I carry them in a, just a plastic toy uh, toolbox that I got, so it keeps them nice, clean, and secure. Because they are bloody messy things. So, what we're going to do now that it's got some heat. Fry pan going. Just 
Pivotal oil. Dice up this chicken breast. And then I'll brown that off a little bit, and I presume, as I say, not doing it before. Chuck the whole lot in there, brown it up, add the sauce and a few bits and pieces, and it should be good to go. Big chicken. Possibly turkey. It's one thing coming out and having a bit of a play. You see these things that other people do and you think, I could do that. <laughs> then again, maybe it'll be a disaster, but you never know. starting to warm up there so I'm gonna do the chicken brown that off what I'm actually going to use is passage to India by passage food simmer sauce mild curry with spinach just add meat and vegetables from cold I'll throw in a few mushrooms and a little bit of capsicum and probably another Guinness to go with it. Not sizzling yet but I don't think it'll be too far away. Yeah, oh, you're starting to look like it's supposed to heat up so So you just dice these up. Again, not the world's best cook. So that's looking pretty cool. So I'll wait till that starts to warm up a little bit and I think before I add the veggies. And as my glass seems to have a hole in it somewhere, because the first can disappeared, I might have to have another Guinness. Two's my maximum. And I might have a rum and coke. All right. Here's cheers. And I'll come back once this starts warming up. Well, if you've probably noticed, I've changed from the fry pan to the saucepan. Now the meat's sealed. If I'd have read the instructions, I was supposed to do it in a fry pan in the first place, but oh well, we live and learn. So, I'm going to add the mushroom and the capsicum and then the sauce. Tuck it all in there. And then, according to the instructions, Ready in 20 minutes. Seal meat and vegetables in a saucepan, add simmer sauce, stir and turn heat down to low. Simmer until meat and vegetables are tender. So about 20 minutes. So I'll finish, probably end up finishing that Guinness and I'm going to rum and coke. Here goes the sauce. Oh, what a disgusting colour. Smells all right, but it's green. And anyone that knows me knows I don't need a lot of green things. But again, smells bloody all right. Let's stir all that in. Well, me 20 minutes are up, probably closer to 30 minutes. It's starting to cool off. I hope I've still got enough light because the sun's starting to go down now. Can see it bubbling over oh, that, that looks bloody good. Give it a bit of a stir up. It still looks like crap, that green stuff, but it's 
suppose that's what curries are. Let's try a piece. I'm getting oh, a piece of chicken. Nice and hot. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Here's some mushroom. Yep, that'll do. Probably a couple of drinks help, but um, I've got the appetite going. So, that's the whole deal. As I say, I'll do a bit more of a review on the um, oven. Probably my only thoughts, still plenty of coals left. I did stop and pile them up a little bit. Uh, I think for doing pots and things like that, it's going to take a little bit longer, or a few more coals would have helped. But doing steaks and things would be fine. But yeah, I think that was a success. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go and finish me a rum and coke and get stuck into that. <laughs>